Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use Docker on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, we are going to look into the system requirements for installing Docker. So I'm going to put this link in the description of this video uh, and you can just click on this link and come to this uh, system requirements page for Docker and here in the system requirements uh, page, you can see uh, there are two options. One is WSL2 and other is Hyper-V uh, and Windows containers. For WSL2 backend, you should have uh, uh, Windows 11 64-bit and the version of Windows 11 you require is Home Pro version 21 H2 or higher, Enterprise or Education version 21 H2 or higher. You should also have enabled WSL2 feature on your Windows 11 operating system. And then you have these uh, system requirements. So you should have 64-bit processor. You should have minimum 4 GB system RAM and other uh, requirements here. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. And I'm going to show you how you can check if it's enabled or not. You should also have this Hyper-V backend and you can also see the system requirements for that. So once uh, you are sure that you all met all the system requirements, you can uh, just go to the official uh, Docker page. Just search for Docker on your favorite browser and the first link which will appear here will be from docker.com. So I'm going to click on this link. And first of all, uh, before even downloading the Docker desktop on your Windows 11, you need to sign up uh, in this docker.com uh, website. So you should have an account in order to start working with Docker on your Windows 11 operating system. So you can just click on get started if you don't have any account. If you already have account, you can just sign in with your existing account. If you don't have any account, you can just click on get started. And uh, then here you can click on uh, sign up and uh, you should just provide the basic information for uh, so signing up into the Docker account, which is uh, username, email ID, password, and other things, right? So it's very simple. Just create a Docker account. And once you have the Docker account, just go to the main page and you can directly see this download button here. So I'm going to click on this uh, download Docker desktop. I already have a Docker uh, account. This file is around 625 megabyte at the time of making this video. So just wait for the download to complete. In the meanwhile, I'm going to show you uh, how you can check for WSL2 or Hyper-V if, if they are enabled on your Windows 11 operating system. So you don't need to do much for uh, that. So just click on this search bar and then uh, just search for uh, turn uh, windows feature on or off and here you will be able to see this option turn windows feature on or off so just click on this uh, link and it's going to show you this kind of window and here you will be able to see uh, all the features which are available or enabled on your uh, windows 11 operating system so once you see this kind of window and you will see this kind of list in this window First of all, you can see this Hyper-V option. So you can uh, just enable this. And then when you scroll down a little, you will also see a Windows subsystem for Linux. So you can just enable that also. So just check both these checkboxes and then click on OK. And it's going to search for required files. And once that's done, you might need to reboot your Windows uh, operating system. So I will suggest to just uh, reboot your Windows 11 operating system and then you can just continue with the installation. So let me just restart my Windows 11 operating system. Now once your uh, Windows operating system restarts, you can open a command prompt. So just search for CMD and then open the command prompt. And once command prompt opens, you can uh, write this command to check if uh, WSL is installed on your system or not, just write WSL and then you can either write, for example, hyphen hyphen status here and then press enter 
it's going to show you the status which uh, is the default version for WSL which is enabled on your system and the other information. If you want to update the WSL, you can just write WSL update which is going to update uh, the WSL on your Windows operating system. When you give this status command and if it shows the version 1 instead of version 2, so the default version is right now 2 in my case. But if it shows version 1, that means WSL 1 is uh, enabled and you need to set the version 2 as a default version in order to use WSL 2 on your Windows operating system. So for that, the command is this one, which is WSL hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version. And if you want to set it to one, which is the WSL one version, then write one here. Otherwise, if you want to set it to two, just write two here. So let me just set it to one and we will check the status again. And you can see it's version one. And if you want to set it to two, which in our case we require in order to set the WSL2 version as the default, then you need this command once again, which is WSL uh, hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version two. And this is going to set the default version as the WSL2 on your Windows. So let me go to the location where I have installed this executable file, which is .dot.k desktop uh, installer. I'm going to just click on this, and let me minimize this window. So here you will see this kind of window, which says, "Do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device?" I'm going to click on yes here, and now you can see it says installing Docker desktop, and it's initializing some packages. And here you can see the configuration. You see uh, use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V recommended and it also says add shortcut to desktop. I'm going to leave both uh, checkboxes as checked and then click on OK. And now we just need to wait for some time until uh, this process is complete. So now the installation of Docker desktop is finished and you can see this message installation succeeded. And here you must restart your windows to complete the installation. I can click on uh, close and restart, which is going to restart my Windows operating system. So now uh, my Windows 11 operating system has been restarted. And now after a few seconds of waiting, it's going to show you this kind of window automatically. You don't need to do anything. You can just click on accept here and it's going to start the Docker here, right? So you can see Docker is starting on my Windows 11 operating system and after some time, you will be able to see this kind of uh, Docker desktop tool. So now I can see Docker desktop is starting on my Windows 11 operating system. So it might take some time to start, but we can already test some commands for Docker. So you can just uh, search for CMD and we can check the version or some images of uh, Docker which are there. So I'm going to write this first command, docker version, and then uh, press enter. And you can see it shows me the docker uh, desktop version. And also it shows me the docker client version here. Also, I can uh, list the docker images. Right now, there are none because it's a new installation. But let's check docker images and then press enter and you can see it shows nothing. Let me clear the screen and then uh, let's search for some image. So I'm going to just write docker search and then for example, I want to search for uh, MySQL images. I can just write uh, MySQL here and then press enter. It's going to search all the related uh, images related to MySQL and you can see uh, it's showing me the most popular image. So you can see the stars which the image uh, gets. And it's also showing if the image is official or not, right? So the top one uh, here is uh, the MySQL image. 
it has 13920 stars and it's an official uh, mysql docker image uh, which you can install so now you can uh, even install uh, these images and run these images on your windows 11 operating system let's see if docker is already started you can see now docker is already started on my windows 11 operating system and uh, you can always uh, check these guides you can install various images on your windows 11 operating system and uh, you will be able to see all the running containers also in this docker desktop without even writing some commands on the command prompts if you are the fan of uh, this kind of GUI uh, interface, right? Now, if Docker doesn't start for some reason, it might be that your uh, WSL2 is not yet enabled. So Docker desktop is going to give you this warning that WSL is not enabled. And it's going to also show you uh, some kind of link where you can uh, go and uh, install and enable uh, WSL2. I'm also going to put this link in the description where you can uh, see how you can uh, install and enable WSL2. There are four steps. You just need to uh, follow these four steps. First one is you just need to open the PowerShell as an administrator. So you can always open the PowerShell as an administrator, right click and then uh, click on run as administrator here and then click on yes and then just give all these commands here so first command is uh, this one copy this and paste it on your uh, powershell and run this command right and then follow the next step check the requirements then once again just copy this command and paste it on your powershell terminal and at the end you need to uh, download this package so just click on this wsl uh, linux kernel update uh, package and it's going to download this package on your windows operating system it's a msi file so you can click on it and uh, just uh, run this automatically and it's going to install this wsl package and at last you just need to set your wsl to as the to as your default version right and the command for that is uh, so once you follow the procedure until the fifth step you're good to go right so if it doesn't give you any error until fifth step your docker will start okay so if docker doesn't start and if it says wsl2 is not set follow step one to five of this web page which i'm going to put uh, the link in the description and then your docker will definitely start okay so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video